Hello, I'm Jack Larson. As our third annual Superman Festival comes to an end, I would like to say what a thrill and honor it was for me to represent the Superman family, both here and gone. Perhaps because that family consisted of the most dedicated and talented people. People such as George Reeves, Phyllis Coates, Noel Neal, directors Tommy Carr, George Blair, and Lee Sholem, producer Whitney Ellsworth. If I were to name them all, I'd be here until next Thanksgiving. I remember many wonderful things about all of them, but the most I remember is of George Reeves. George loved the fact that Superman was the most popular show among children, and he always greeted his young fans with enthusiasm. But I recall him saying that he wished he had just one grown-up fan. Well, today those kids are grown up, and many of them are you. Your continued interest and love for Superman has made George Reeves' wish come true, and somehow I hope he knows it. I also hope you enjoyed the third annual Superman Festival here on Channel 9. Thanks once again for joining me and letting me share my memories and some of my favorite episodes with you and your family. A very happy Thanksgiving to you all. Once again, another Thanksgiving tradition comes to an end. I get such a kick out of being your host for Channel 9's annual Superman Festival. After all, it's the one day of the year when I have to wear a bow tie, but it's also the day when I'm reunited with people who've meant so much to me, both here and gone. People such as directors Tommy Carr, George Blair, Lee Sholem, Harry Gerstadt, producer Whitney Ellsworth, special effects whiz Cy Simonson, Phyllis Coates, Noel Neal, and, of course, George Reeves. Just like I'll always be known as Jimmy Olsen, bowtie or not, George was typed as Superman. But towards the final episodes, such as the ones we just saw, George was proving to be a fine director. It was one of his dreams, and I can imagine what a thrill it must have been for him to direct three Superman episodes. I truly believe that had he lived, George would have been known not only as the man with the X-ray vision, but the man with creative vision as well. In the spirit of one of our earlier episodes, I'd like to take this opportunity to say in memory of a very good friend, here's looking at you, George. And uh, to all my friends, thank you for letting me share my memories with you and for sharing your favorite adventures with me. I do hope you enjoyed the fourth annual Superman Festival. I'm Jack Larson, wishing you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>